up guys how are you guys doing i hope you are well in this video we're going to learn how peanut butter is made in ghana for some reason the peanut butter that's made in ghana tastes quite different to what you will find in the west i don't know if it's because we don't add any sugar and other stuff but either way we're going to find out if they have any secret ways to making it and that's why it tastes so different julius who runs this place he has a mill here and then a mill somewhere else where he mills corn he's going to be taking us through the process i hope you guys enjoy the video make sure you give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already let's get right into it. Uh, at the moment uh, we are frying the granite oh okay so yeah. you use this machine to fry it yes please oh okay so how does it work how does the machine work yeah the machine is in such a way that we mold it around uh -huh. and then the under we use gas oh. that is the fire that heats the machine oh okay. then we have electrical motor gas stairs inside ah. so this is how it goes so where do you where do you put the granite here Oh, so the granite is underneath. Yes. Ah. So how long does it stay in here for? In the morning, because the machine has cooled down, uh -huh. it takes uh, two hours oh. before a bath will be ready. Okay. But after one bath, the next one takes one hour, 13 minutes, one oh. hour, 14 minutes. So the hotter it is, the less time it yeah. takes. Ah, okay. So does it peel it as well? No. This is the one that peels it. This is the one that peels it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you make this like this and then you sell it in big quantities? Or no, normally the market women bring it here ah. and I tie them and, you and do it for them. Oh, okay. I mean myself, I do but not in small quantities. Oh, okay. if you want a bag. Like a big bag or yeah. then you do it for them. Okay, okay. So this is obviously faster than doing it like on a normal fire and then yeah, you know they find it difficult because that one you have to be by the fire yeah, and a whole lot sure, but with this sure. one you just put it in yeah you just be monitoring it when it is ready right you remove it oh okay okay so how long have you been here how long have you been doing this thing uh, august 2017 2017 oh yeah. okay what would you charge someone if they want to roast a big bag like this and then grind it and all that uh, formerly we were charging 70 cities for the whole thing. For the whole thing. But now okay. the increment of the gas and coal, yeah. we plan to raise it to 90. Okay. But for the 90, it's not yet accepted. Okay. We are now negotiating with the customers too. Oh, okay. I know it's hard. They will probably say, hey, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to cover this and then let it cook. Yeah, How much longer do you have till this one is ready? This one is about maybe 10, 20 minutes that it to be ready. Be ready. Oh. Yeah, okay, okay. it's almost done. Oh, okay, all right. You see, you know, some people want it brown color. Oh. Some people want it chocolate color. Ah. Uh, that's the butter color. Oh, okay. So everyone with the way they, they want, want it. it. Oh, yeah. okay. Some people, this is okay for them. Okay. Some people, too, this is white. Oh, okay. They want it to be brown. A bit darker. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And does that affect the taste of the peanut butter? No. It doesn't affect the taste? No. Some it's people... We are using it for, let's say, uh, for food. Uh -huh. If it is not brown, uh -huh. then we have to add more tin tomatoes and whatever. Oh, okay. So when yeah. it's already brown, you don't then need to don't add need more. To add, right, right. Yeah. That makes sense. So these are all peanuts that you are yes, going so to use. Granite, yeah. Oh, okay. All wow. these are granite. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what made you decide to start this type of business? Well, uh, one thing is I've realized uh, women when they are using the manpower method. Mm -hmm. One by they divide it into four mm -hmm. before they fried it. Mm. So somebody from outside came to introduce this machine. Oh okay. Which is only one in Tema here. Oh. So I consulted him and so if I have a place, no problem. Ah so he's you, also doing it on his own. His own this oh. is mine. Oh so you purchased it for him to do yeah. oh okay. No wonder it looks like you're busy with all these like bags of yeah yeah. yeah. And with the, the place that you do the corn as well, is it the same thing? Do you do, like, do you toast the corn and then... No, no, no. That just, one is, we put it in water we, for corn dough. For corn dough and yeah. so kinky and yes, things yes. like that. Oh, okay, okay. And have you been doing that just as long as you've been doing this one? Yeah, that one for a long time, oh. since 90s. Oh, okay, okay, mm. okay. So if anybody wants to purchase, like, peanut butter, but they don't need, like, a whole sack of granules, like, are you able to do that as well? No, no you, you do very large quantities. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so this machine is what you use to grind it? No, we use this one. Oh, you use that to grind it first? First. And, and then, then you bring it here? Bring it here for the final... Grinding. Yeah. So you grind it twice? Twice. Ah, okay, okay. You know, the market one, when it's solid, uh -huh. they sell the loose. Oh, okay. Uh, but right. when it's light, in a liquid the, form, uh -huh. that is where they also I make, make profit. money from it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. once we spread it here, mm -hmm. so as they are doing it, this one, will be, uh, the chaff will be going back and then the runner will come front. Oh, okay. What do you do with the chaff? We sell it for those who rare picks. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. When they mix it with their with feet, their feet okay. they get weight and then oh, and then they okay. say right, right, okay. All right, guys. So basically, the they're still roasting the peanut butter. He said the peanut butter is roasted for about two hours. So we're just gonna hang around and wait for it to be ready, and then we can see how long they let it cool for before they take the peels off. You're gonna get to see the whole process. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. The peanuts are out after an hour or so so as Julia said we're gonna let it cool for a little while before we get to peeling and then before we get to grinding. Yeah, but try and bear how many minutes? About 30 minutes. About 30 minutes. Not for you. Uh, Patron, how did they say? Elvis. Elvis. Ah, uh, okay. One day, what do you say? What do you say? Almost four. Almost four. Uh, hey, I know what you are doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, five. Because I'm trying to use to do six. Six, eh? Hey. Hey so we're on to the next step. The peanut has cooled for about 30, 40 minutes. So now Elvis is transferring the peanut into the peeling machine. And they've dug a little, it's like a little uh, hole that's basically just for the peanut. So once it peels in the machine, it comes into the hole. That's the, it's the hole that collects it. And then they're collect, going to collect it from there and then transfer it into the grinder. And as Julius was saying, they grind it twice in order to get it into that smooth consistency. You guys, so Prosper um, helps to sharpen like parts of the. Um, the mill, the milling machine. So if you guys need help or you need somebody to do that kind of work for you, I'll put his details um, on the screen for you guys. Woo. You guys, I think it's burning, it's so hot. Oh my god, this over some white bread, delicious, it's very very good and they haven't even done anything to it, no salt has been added, nothing, it's just peanuts basically. So generally with the peanut butter that you get overseas, it tastes a little bit different to the one that is made here, what do you think is the difference? Yeah, the one uh, outside, you know for them they have uh, like we fry like this, mm -hmm. we remove it, spread it on the floor mm -hmm. for an hour to cool down okay. before giving it to the peeling machine. Right. But with them, when they remove it from the machine, they, the dryer will take just within 10 15 minutes, they dry then they, it. Oh. Then conveyor will convey it. So instead of a manpower uh -huh. to remove it, ah. convey it to the uh, peeling one before to the grinding. Uh -huh. Conveyor it, do everything. It's all the machine. Yeah. Ah, so that's where the difference in the taste comes yeah. from. Oh, okay. 
There you go, guys. I didn't know that. It's the little things that make the difference, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, okay cool. That is a simple process involved in making peanut butter. Elvis says they normally grind it a couple of times. They put it through the machine three times in total to get it as smooth as possible. Um, but other than that, that's basically it. They don't add anything to it and that's probably why it tastes so delicious i hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you're interested and want to purchase anything or have any contact with julius his number will be on the screen as well as in a pinned comment thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss nani paye day follow your bliss na di bis ya ye and follow your bliss na day name matter take care guys i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>